Welcome back to my Viper build. So all of this has been disturbed quite significantly because I knocked the table over while we were away. When I knocked the table over, um, three, of the model, three of the models on that table got broken and everything got knocked around. So, I mean, the Vipers survived pretty well. I mean, it seems to be okay. So let's just remove all the tape because we don't want residue getting on these things. I don't imagine that's going to make it easy to paint. And then we just check the quality of the glue because, yeah. As you can see, there are little breaks in it. Okay, you can't see because the camera is not designed for that. Oof. That's not awful. I mean, it's passable, right? I wouldn't like to, um... <laughs> well, it'll be okay. I don't see it being bad, okay? <laughs> yeah, get off. That one's okay. Mm. Now this stuff is mostly tacky at this point. It was never really sticky in the first place. And it probably was when I bought it, like, probably six years ago. Wow, okay, yeah. And there's a little split at the front, but... Ooh, and it's raised a little bit. It's okay, it's nothing we won't survive, so we'll be fine. The wings are okay, at least. So I've decided I'm going to put the feet on at the end because I disagree with the instructions. Anyone who's surprised, I disagree with the instructions. Obviously, no, hasn't been here for a long time. So next up is number 13. Now part 13 involves the main frame, yes. So we have the body frame. And then we need part 26 and 27. So this is part 26. And part 27 is this one up here. I mean, I would like to call them air intakes, but it's a spaceship, why does it have air intakes everywhere? Why would an air, why would a spaceship have air intakes? It shouldn't be in air. That the, and the cockpit module, which is here. So we cut all these loose and clean them up. And let's get this one off. Right. Also, all the bits that I had on the table, like all the offcuts, stuff like that, are now all over the floor and in my feet. Those moments where you hoover the floor and it's worse afterwards because you knocked a table over over the hoover. So no, this table's not very stiff. Well, I'm glad you know I've stabilized it since so it doesn't happen again. But it was incredibly unstable in the old format. Yeah. That's, 
That must have broken off in transit. Hmm. Okay, so that all looks relatively clean. There's a bit there that looks like it's been filed already, but I'm not going to complain about it. I you know, me not complaining about something, it's rare. <laughs> so first of all, let's do this properly. Just pop you in there. You went straight in. to get worse just before a storm. So apparently this is meant to go in here. It fits. Where's this one supposed to go? So like this. Oh, the other way around. Detailing facing outwards, you say. Right, so this bit gets dropped on afterwards. That would, that's the way it would make sense. So we pop you down. Nope, that's not even close. Okay, that looks like it's sort of the right shape. the upper frame together and the front of the frame. There you go. Unfortunately we've lost the uh, little airy takey thing at the front. Which went down on the floor. I mean it happens right? But yeah, it does go together. It's going to need a lot of adhesive to hold, but... So by the look of it, that side's the tighter fit, so... Just fill those little two holes with glue. Well, not fill, but put some in, because we want it to stick. Then we get this, make sure that the grill is facing outwards, because we don't want to mess that up now, do we? If it's in okay. May have been a little too much glue on that one, but it's in shadow and I was having difficulty telling if any had come out. But that looks okay. Wow, this camera does not show up well with white on white. Mm. Now, eight or nine, you don't really care. So now I have to get glue around all of the connecting surfaces on this one and get it together. Just glue up there. Yep, that's... Just 
try to get some glue along this here. They've given me a nice little seam to go along. That's nice of them. Put a little bit there. And I haven't had this little surface yet. Now, here comes the fun bit. Sorry, did I say fun? I meant hard. So, we're going to go like this and line them up. One bit lined up and the front. Oh my, that just went together. Wow, that just went straight together like it was nothing. Wow, okay, my hands are a bit sweaty today. Also, the fact this stuff never really sticks properly and just remains tacky is why it's so good for this. Something I will strongly regret if I ever paint them, of course. Because I'm quite sure that adhesive will just remain on the surface and give me an oily texture that I can't actually paint. Okay, around there. Front and back stuck together with tape so that'll hold the frame together. I will deal with that a little bit later because you know that's just how I operate. So, what is stage 14? Wait for that second bit to fall off later. So apparently I have to get the rear landing assemblies, which are fortunately the wonky ones, and stick them into here somehow. When I say wonky, I mean like they're designed to go at an angle and then land flat on the floor. So that one goes on this side. See that way the leg ends up flat. Ish. Am I doing this right? So that bit's always facing forwards when it goes in, so it's sort of like this. That kind of doesn't fit. So this one's the front gear, which goes in, which just falls through if it's got, hasn't got anything attached to it. But these ones, so they do face, so these little bits here do face inwards. Doors in the way. Uh, 
But there is literally a door in the way. How is that supposed to fit? This just doesn't look like I made a mistake right at the start. Well, at least I have some nicely done pictures that I can copy from. So yeah, according to the instructions, these legs go in like that. Which they won't. There is no way that's going to work. Which means I'm going to have to... Um, you didn't see this. Let's just see if it would even fit at all. Okay, so that little bit out the way, it fits, but it would never. Wow. Okay, so it would have fit, but you'd literally have to snap it like that, and it. So it would have fit. When they went for precision with this, they went for a real precision. They went for a real ridiculous level of fit. <laughs> so yeah, I can repair that. If I was concerned about breaking it, I wouldn't have started, to be honest. Thing is though, I think this is just gonna fit on to something else. So it just has to be pretty precision fit. I think that something else is um no, not that. So what do they slide into? Those like big chunk our lockers just there. <laughs> Me trying to work out how this thing works. So what I have to now is imagine a flat line which this would land on, which is representative of the deck. Stick that on there, so it gets a grip on it. Because it doesn't really matter where it ends up, just... Okay, it does matter where it ends up, because if it ends up with legs like that, it won't land. So that for sort of position and tape. Yeah. 
so like this and that's not perfect but There you go, that's good enough. So we just tack that in place, oh god. I just really hope that that tape is good enough to hold it where it needs to be. So we can put that back over there. So as you can see, I've already messed this up. That's fine. We can handle that. Is there a hole in the front of this? No way. So that goes there? Oh wow, that's a long way back. So that like connects on in this position. Yep, there it is. Wow, this landing gear's a long way back, isn't it? Whew. So yeah, and we're gonna leave that there to dry. Okay, just touch the ground with both. Yep, they're flat. Yep, that'll be fun. Stop touching it. Good enough to do that. It's good enough to take this off. So we move that back. Then we stick this little bit on the top on. Where's my paint? Where's my glue? So it sort of heads in this area. Just put some glue on it. Then do not drop it inside. There you go. A little bit of tape will hold it. See what? That's now that section done at least. Fifteen is literally start assembling all three pieces that you've made. But I don't want to upset that yet, so I'm going to have to get the air intakes. I mean, they look like air intakes. Let's get these off and clean them up. out pretty quick and this goes on well this will do the same job to be fair just cut off a little bit of it so that we can stick that bit on So these air intakes go on like this. 
but just going to lock that entire back section together. So they end up locked on like that. Which means if I put glue on there, here and here, and like a little drizzle around there, I should be okay. It's a lot of glue though. This is a lot of glue and a lot of contact area, but I can't guarantee it's going to make contact anywhere. So my strategy is to put on a lot of glue and hope it gets somewhere. Let's move that up a bit so it's not on the glued surface anymore. And we've attached that on the back. And yeah, we've got to put this together. I don't know why they have those little up pins. Oh, now I do. Those little vertical pins actually lock onto the back of that. And also I'm not gonna run out glue anytime soon. If anything, I have too much. Oh wait, no, it doesn't go back that far, does it? Crap. Okay, so I may have messed that up a little bit. shaking that's not good for precision work. It's fine. I can survive that. So that's now glued so I should not touch it. And that pin pops into this back pin by here. There you go. Okay, and I should be able to get that bit of tape off now. It's now locked into the same position because there's a little pin inside that holds it. Such a pretty nice little one this is. And we're going to have to restick some of it, but luckily there's nothing on top that uh, really needs attention. But you can see there's some little separation there, so just to tension it. Whoop, don't put weight on the legs yet. And do a little loop around the back, like such convince them to stay in contact. I 
it's not much, but that little seam there keeps breaking open. So the tape is just to keep them touching. And I'm going to need to put that bit that I snapped off back on at some point. small around there, that'll be fine. Uh, if the leg is forward facing, yes. Okay, so we've got the three legs and main body. That I'm gonna have to stick later because, yeah. That's six, uh, we're on to 16, where we have to get part 18 and 19. I don't recognize 18 and 19. I mean, I can find them on the sprue, it's these. But what they do and where they go, that I can't tell you. According to these instructions, they just glue together. So let's just clean that up. It's probably one of the little greeblies that actually makes it look realistic that I've that you just don't notice with the designs. I would definitely not have been on the 80s version because sorry, 70s version. because cameras didn't have enough definition to pick them up back then. I really don't know. Number 16 connects where? Okay, well, you say it's a thing. Top engine, maybe? So the connection areas are here, here, and that bit. That's it. It's probably going to be like a major part of the fuselage that I'm missing, but... And now for the guns, because 17 and 18 are literally stick guns to wings. with the guns with the, or the wings, yeah. They look nothing like each other at all. But here are the guns. So let's just pop these off, put that back over here. But yeah, again landing gear to line up with the floor is pretty difficult. So that's why I'm electing to do it last. It'll be more awkward having to move the whole model around, but I want it to be able to stand before, like to be able to be stand up on its own before I uh, stick them on. It's cleaned off. And we've got the two holes on top that hold it. And they'll go on like that. Pin out. Pin in. So in fact it goes on like that. So that pin goes in, touches the fuselage apparently. You see? Okay. 
got some very good reference pictures on this. Not pin out. So the little pin bit faces outwards. So like that. Fine, but these ones I only really need to put in the hole. Then just pop on. Now this one I haven't actually cleaned up properly because I missed a little bit on that one. But the bit that I missed is uh, wing facing. So as it's on an internal surface, I don't care. It means if somebody ever dismantles it, you know, this thing's permanently welded. It'll be like, oh, wait, okay. So, I've got that. Put that back down there. So the next stage is to literally stick on the wings. Oh, okay, we're going to have to disconnect the back at this point because the uh, back is covering over the section the wings connect to. This wing pops in here, pops in here, and this wing pops in here. There's a little slot for it, so oh, that's really good. There are little slots inside which it actually locks into. That's really nice. You know, unless you want to take it back off because that was just a test fit. Right. It's one out. I don't even think with glue this wasn't this was uh, falling apart without glue. <laughs> Sorry, that sentence got messed up real bad. So we get glue along this surface, a bit down there, and a bit here. A little bit along there, because that's where one of the notches is. That's one of the other connection points on the back. And now we're ready to actually put the wing in. I don't know whether that's supposed to be over or under, I'm guessing. Under, because that makes more sense. This does seem mostly to have been idiot proofed. I mean, apart from that single snap you've got to do. Okay, let's just uh, slide this in like this. Using as a supporting structure at this point, I'm not even sure. It's done diagonally. So that's everything done.
I mean, I think I'm missing a little refueling probe, but I can chuck that on at the end. So now, we're actually on to the final sections. So there is these sections, which are needed, and this. Finally, we get to find out what that is. So first of all, test fit it and make sure it actually fits. The instructions actually say to test fit for the first time. I've never seen instructions say, please check it fits for gluing. <laughs> it's an important lesson, always test fit. Unless you're completely crazy, then do whatever you want. Puff and like you know, dangerous stuff and illegal stuff. I, I can't encourage that type of behavior, you know, and not get in trouble. Get rid of that little bit, that's clear. Get rid of this little bit here. On to this bit, get rid of this little bit. Then here, anywhere else, it's got a little bit, shouldn't it should be cleaned? Nope, okay. So this is going to slot in that kind of no. Um, where's this go? No. It goes on that way, however it goes. Up here, maybe? Oh, goes between these, okay. Uh, this is upside down. This goes in like that, then this one pops in over the top. This is the instruction that I've got. This is the way that it would make sense, because there's a shelf for it. But that's also backwards. Doesn't give you a picture of how it looks from the back at any point though, so Yeah, I see why it says test fit it. This has to go together like this in the end, right? Trust it to stand on its own at this point. 
So that goes on like this, right? I'll ignore precise fit for now because I just need an approximate. Yeah. So we've got that, and then we've got this. So that goes on this way. So that pops together like that, and this apparently goes forwards in. So, how are you supposed to fit? Everything else in this has been so precision engineered, but this bit. Suddenly on this section, it's now you're on your own. <laughs> no training wheels here. the way it's going to sit in the end, but where does this go? Like that? Alright, this is the end section. Does it fit? Okay, yes, it fits, but eventually clips on like that. Oh, that was a lot of work. So okay, we've confirmed that that fits. <clears throat> but don't glue this top bit, it's the last bit. We'll separate and glue later. So now to get it back apart, so I can actually build the thing. Come on, off you get. So the uh, gluing tabs are here, around that, along here, just add on a bit of fun, and that little bit by there. I'll add a little bit on there just in case. And of course, a little bit here. So, let's just do what we did last time. There you go. Get that glue off my fingers put the instructions away. Now to do the other side. Oh, 
Oh no, don't glue that yet. If I glue that bit now, I won't be able to get the top wing on. Now for this bit, which is what requires gluing is this shelf. So it's a little shelf inside under there that it all goes on to. And it's this way down because these clip into tiny little indents inside. I mean, they're not even easy to see, but they're down there. It's one in, and that one's a little bit too high, but yeah, I'm putting a lot of pressure on those unglued feet, aren't I? And then there's this bit that goes on, which is the top wing, or the, sorry, vertical stabilizer. Which of course we have to keep this back section open for. But now I'm gluing this in, they're getting glued. It was already glued. Whoops. There's a little bit hanging over the edge. Yep, it's supposed to. Oh no, that, no, 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 get the bit of glue off. Desperately start getting bits of tape to make it be the right shape. Okay, this side's okay, that side's got a little split in it that I don't like. And there's a little split up here as well. Okay. And now of course the last piece on the instructions is to just connect this. So naturally we do a test fit because that's a very important lesson. some point whenever this broke off wherever it broke off from well the sprue that broke off from didn't break cleanly so let's clean it and it turns out no there were no missing parts just randomly open bag for no reason Spread some glue around. And here. A little bit on that. every surface it's going to touch. Covered, I think. I mean, we'll find out in a minute. 
But it's also why you do the test fit to get a good idea of what needs to be covered and what doesn't. And there is the part of it at least. Right, you know, that was the last stage apart from the putting the cockpit on, but I'm going to do that later. We can take this off, Let's get the hairs off of it. So we can just chuck that. And now let's go back and correct some of my, um, so I, I say my, I definitely didn't break this thing. It's, um, so we put a little tack there and a little tack here. And we reattached the part that I took off earlier. Genuinely so close it's actually touching, so just a little bit of reinforcement. Just makes it a little bit of a better connection later. But for a reason, be known mostly to the person who made design the model. They've actually done the little circular bits inside the feet as separate items. Do you know, there is a good reason for it and I'm marking, but... They cast it separately down to the fact that when you inject into a mold, you actually need, uh, you know, you can't have little bits of detail like that because you need to get the original material out. And it's much easier just to cast it as a tiny little separate bit. It's the same reason we have stuff like that. You can fully understand why somebody did something and still be cranky. And by the look of it, they all have the same foot structure, so it seems not to matter which one goes forwards or back. But the skids always head forwards, of course. Do they all actually identify as the same piece? Where did they come from? Um. It's one that fits.
one that fits, one that fits. And one that fits. So there you go, problem solved. Unfortunately, I have to go pick shopping up or I would not be in such a rush. <laughs> There's not enough on this to justify doing another recording session. That's the problem here. So. I mean, we've got like five minutes left of stuff that I can actually do. made a mistake yet. And well it still needs to dry and still needs a cockpit but I've got to keep it facing up the right way. But there is the Mark II Viper. Mostly. <laughs> so let's drop this off over here on the desk. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and I'm gonna have to finish there. <laughs> Hopefully, well, I don't know, I'll be sharing pictures of it with the cockpit on, the same as always when I do little things at the end. But that's it for this build. I, well, I hope that you enjoyed it. If not, well, thanks for trying anyway. <laughs> okay, so. Bye.